Flat line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree, and today we got a neat show for y'all. We're out at Junior's Meat Market in French Settlement, and it's our fourth annual steak cook-off. And this year, I'm cooking in it. There's steak, ribs, and chicken, and this year there's potato salad. We got music, we got good cooks, we're gonna have a good time. Hope the rain lets us go. It's gonna be a fun one. So y'all hang on. Cajun Living and Cooking's fixing to start right about now. Okay, y'all made it over to our cooking area. Me and Patrick. I got Patrick Garden cooking with me, y'all. We are a team, we are team. Bad company. Team Bad Company Barbecue, and y'all, that's, that's two ways it could happen. If it's good, we bad. But if it's bad, we bad. We, we bad. <laughs> so no matter what, we're going to fall into it. So we got the uh, smoker going here. We're going to be cooking our ribs on the smoker. We got the other pit going. We're going to have uh, chicken and steak is going to be cooked on here. We've actually got a little breakfast sausage going already. We're going to cook a few biscuits because uh, you got to eat breakfast in the morning. It's the most important meal yeah. of the day. It is. Now, it's our first time cooking in the barbecue contest. Uh, I've been doing a little practicing on ribs and chicken, and he's been working on the steak. So uh, together, we're going to form a good team. Uh, I, I don't know if we got any secrets. What, do we have any secrets? Because everybody asks us, what's our secrets? Really? I, we no don't. secrets. It's, it's all out in the open. Yeah, it is. It, it's a good time, y'all. We're going to come out here and support Junior's Meat Market. And if y'all hadn't been here to get his steaks before, this is where you need to come get his steaks and all his beef, all his, everything he has is fresh, unfrozen stuff. It's definitely looking good in there too. It is, it is. And he's selling food out here too to the public. So uh, y'all, we got about 14 cooks. Uh, there's a potato salad contest new this year. My wife entered the potato salad contest. We're gonna taste some of that in a little while. I'm, I'm ready. I think she's gonna win. <laughs> but uh, we got some good judges coming this year. Uh, we're fixing to have the cooks meeting, so y'all hang on. We're going to see uh, who the cooks are. Kyle Blanchard, Pierre Park, Louisiana. Jaron Crotwell, Friend Settlement. Chad McCrary, Coyell. Justin Schilling from Galvez. Danny Delot from Lutcher. Kenneth Jackson, Razor's Barbecue, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Aaron Smith, We Do Garage Doors, Albany, Louisiana. Steve Baxter from Central Louisiana. Rodney Dupree, Galvez. Patrick Gordon, Livingston, Louisiana. I'm Uncle Larry Roussel. I'm from Hester, Louisiana. That's over there somewhere. D.L. King. Angela King. Walker, Louisiana. Clint Johnson. Troy Milton. Pine Grove, Louisiana. We're at the Pine Grove Supper Club. All right, y'all, we got our uh, chicken seasoned up. Fixing to put it on the pit. We got the ribs been on the smoker since seven o'clock. And we are running with a little practice steak right here. We got, That's it. you got to have practice steak. You know, we ate some biscuits. We had some uh, deer sausage and some grape jelly in there. And now we got to have a practice steak. So we're fixing to put the chicken on. It's going to cook a couple hours. We got the ribs going. So hopefully, hopefully everything will be right on time for the turn in. So y'all hang on. Alright y'all left my barbecue pit and we came in here to see what the action was going on and uh, Todd Lobel done cooked up a nice looking jambalaya look right here. 
And uh, we got the guys and the gals back here fixing it all up. Junior will sell all of this jambalaya, y'all. Uh, he's got barbecue plates also. He's been barbecuing all morning back there. <clears throat> I think he does a white meat and a dark meat, huh, Kurt? Every other Saturday we do a dark and a white. Um, today is only dark meat. Oh, dark meat today? Yes, okay, and it's $6 a plate, y'all. Where can you get a whole plate of barbecue for $6? So, And they do plate lunches every other week so not next weekend but the one after they'll have it again so this is for all the people come and visit but uh we're gonna go out there and talk with some of the cooks and uh let's see if they getting ready to start turning stuff in we got an hour right now and uh i got my chicken on low so let's go see what the other cooks are doing all right y'all made it over to one of the pits they got a couple pits going out here uh we had a good washerboard game going earlier, bro. That was, it was good your way. <laughs> it was fun, bro. It was fun. How you looking, man? How you going? Doing good, doing good. Chicken's already done. Yeah. Just letting it set and gotcha. ribs are getting close. Okay. So, you, uh, you on time with everything? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We you doing a steak, too? Steak, too. Okay. And that'll be later on. Later on. Awesome, man. Well, good luck to y'all. All right, man. Thank you. All right, y'all. We made it over to another pit. How you looking, bro? Looking good. Looking good. Uh, how's the food looking? Well, I don't know how the food looks, but we look good. good. We look good right now. Food looks pretty good. good. Cooking a little faster than we would like, but we're getting there. Me too. We're getting there. My chicken's really done, and I got it off to the side. Mother Nature gave us a beautiful day. That's what the problem is. Yeah, we, we cooking. We ain't used to that. It's supposed to be raining, like, you know, web feet and stuff. That's how it usually works around here. And we had two inches of rain yesterday, so that's hilarious, y'all, that the ground done dried up. You, uh... They are bringing stuff off the pits now. You mean? Yeah, you, we started. We started bringing off our chicken, bring off our ribs, wrapping everything up, letting it sit. Now I can't tell you all my secrets. If I tell you all my secrets, you're gonna run back and do it I'm yourself. I'm gonna go run over there. Yeah, and do I know. It. I can't tell you everything. Got gotcha, you, bro. Well, good. You on time and good luck. We on time. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, y'all made it over to another pit, and this is last year's champion. And this year's champion. I don't know what you're talking about. No. Now. It's Nostradamus too. Man, He's no thinking. Deal. Now, uh, are you right on time with everything? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Gotcha. We gotta turn in about 50 minutes. We gotta turn. Man, I'm ready, man. I'm, I'm just looking at all these amateurs trying to beat the champion. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. That's good. Everybody know who the best is. Y'all, y'all, y'all come on back and taste some of this good barbecue. He's got a good sauce, man. <laughs> this man can cook, and he's back defending his title. So it'll be really, really cool for two in a row. Did, did you, did you uh, talk to Butterbean? I did. He, he come over here and gonna tell me his chicken got it. The thing standing up like it's number one. Uh, what? But oh man, you can't come and do that. Huh? That's smack talk. Yeah, that's smack talk. <laughs> hey, bro, good luck to you, and may the best ones win. Ain't no best one is me. <laughs> you heard it right here. <laughs> All right, y'all, we made it over to some more cooks, and uh, let's get their names and where they from. Clint Johnson from Pine Grove. D.L. King, Walker, Louisiana. How y'all looking? We got 45 minutes. Uh, we looking all right. Chicken's first. You got your chicken right where you need to be, you thinking? They looking good. Gotcha, gotcha. Ribs will be 30 after that. Everything looking good. Sound like y'all uh, got it on, man. Uh, only thing can happen, we can burn them up or something. And y'all got helpers. Y'all got y'all's wives helping. Yeah, we sent them to the store. Sent them to the store. Boy, that's the help you need right there whenever you can get them to go get what you need. All right, fellas, I'm going to wish y'all good luck, and I'll see y'all in the winter circle. Yes, sir. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thanks for having us. Awesome. All right, y'all made it over to another booth, Uncle Larry's booth, and it's, it's two teams. Two teams, yeah. Danny's got his team, I got my team. We, as much as we hate each other, we got one thing in common. We both use an Uncle Larry's seasoning, all right? All right, so, all right. right. Now, we we 45 minutes for turning. How are we looking? Y'all ready? Looking good. Got my chicken almost done. Basted it with my barbecue sauce. Got my ribs done. Ready to go. How you looking, Larry? Well, I'm not quite as advanced as Danny, but I'm getting close, all right? So I'm I'm a little nervous. I'm going to lose out to one of my best buddies, okay? But but it's all good. It's all fun. Like you said this morning, Roddy, we're here to have a good time. Yeah. And it, everybody in our na neighborhood is having a great time. We yeah. need a lot of friends. And it's so, all about the fun, so. That's right. There you go. All right, I got to get back to my pit, so uh, good luck to y'all. Good right, luck to you, Roddy. All right, Steve, we're getting close to crunch time, bro. How you looking? I'm looking pretty good. I'm over here about to uh, sauce my meat. Wee. He's getting sloppy saucy right there. I like the mop trick. I love that. Thank you. Now, y'all, a little something he got going that uh, you don't know about, or I didn't know about, but he pickled some watermelon. And I tasted one, y'all. And if you never had pickled watermelon, it's time to start getting it. And he got some pickles onions. He had them on a hot dog. And uh, 
So how you looking? You ready to turn in? I'm ready, man. Okay, I'm I, the same way. I didn't come here to lose. Amen. Hey, good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Balloons, blues, and barbecue. That's right. It's time for the Ascension Hot Air Balloon Festival at the Lamar Dixon Expo Center, September 22nd and 23rd. And the barbecue contest has gotten bigger and better. That's right, Lamar Dixon has teamed up with the BCA to feature a sanctioned event. What's that mean? Well, big cash prizes. Three categories on Saturday, ribs, chicken, and brisket, and a steak cook-off on Friday. So sign up now at Lamar Dixon or go to the website for an application. Hey everybody, dust off that pit, light a fire under it, and let's see if your chicken is finger licking. RP Custom Trailers and Service is a fully stocked store for RV parts and accessories. With essentials such as tank treatments, hoses, lenses, vents, power cords, cleaning supplies, and everything else your camper may need. Known for customized living quarters and horse trailers for over 18 years. We now specialize in RV insurance work. Talk to Ryan about how to prevent blowouts and oh yes, that leaky vinyl or rubber roof can be inspected and repaired also. Call or come by and see it all at RP Custom Trailers. Port Vincent Village Market, formerly Parker's Grocery, invites you to come and experience what a family-owned grocery store has to offer. Weekly specials and daily lunches. Breakfast at 5 a.m. Monday through Friday. Sushi, sandwiches, and salads made fresh daily. From the specialty meat section to the in-house butcher, the meat department is first class now offering a large selection of wines and specialty beers. Oh yeah, we also sell lottery, propane, and non-ethanol gas. See you at the Village Market. Vaserine Fuel is back. Founded in the 1940s, Vaserine Fuel is still the region's only locally owned propane company and we are proud to service our commercial and residential customers. Vaserine Fuel offers both bulk propane and exchange tanks that have over 20% more fuel than any other brand. Exchange cases can be found at your local retailers like Hole in the Wall Seafood, Rouse's, Two Rows, and Rouse Supermarket. The guys over at Galvez Hardware can refill that tank and qualify your out-of-date bottle. Give Vassery a fuel call at 985-447-3668 for all your propane needs. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp, tailgating, or planning dinner. We make our own cracklings, beef jerky, whole cut cheese, and sausage right here in the store. We also process deer and hogs. Junior's Meat Market has an abundance of groceries and frozen items, which include crab cakes, fried oysters, tilapia, and more. We have daily meat specials, and we cook plate lunches every other weekend. Stop by Junior's Meat Market today and bring home dinner. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com. All right, y'all made it over to Justin's tent, and he's right next to me, and uh, we've been having biscuits this morning, tasting each other's food, having a good old time, bro, but it's, we're getting close to crunch time. How, how you looking? You on time? Yeah, I'm looking good. Uh, just letting them stay warm, really. Yeah. About it. That's me, too. I think my chicken's done, and I'm, I'm just on the verge of uh, keeping it warm and making sure my ribs are tender, I guess. So, yeah. uh I'm going to wish you good luck and hopefully see you at the winter right. circle, man. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all, made it over to to the musicians, and I have a bad habit to call them DJs, but these guys are good, y'all. It's Bubby and Terry Kindler. That's without a D, and I seem to always spell it wrong. <laughs> and uh, I want to say, I want to thank y'all again for coming out here, and uh, y'all been with, since we've been, this is our fourth annual, and y'all been out here for a while with us, uh, maybe three years out of the four, I believe. Yeah. Yep. And uh, y'all, they, they, they play the music, they'll have music, they, uh, 
they rock y'all and they'll play a little bit of everything and y'all's favorite stuff is the older country and the yeah we do swamp pop and the old rock and roll the now, country yeah i like the country part did some hank williams a while ago so i was oh, singing yeah. along and oh, stuff yeah. oh yeah now if somebody's having a party or if they want to have a get together or they throwing down how can they get in touch with you they can call me at 225-317-9115 I always have it with me. Now, how long y'all been playing music together, you think? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Lots of Since years. Since y'all was kids? 40, 40 yeah. years. Yeah. Wow. 50 we, years. We started wow. with drums. We were pretty small. Yeah, <laughs> long time ago. It wasn't good. <laughs> well, y'all, these guys do a fine job. So if you got something going on, yeah, you let them know. He comes all the way from Alaska, Texas. All the way from Texas to come to Juniors. You know he's yeah. got good meat in there when he does that. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Awesome, y'all. I want to thank y'all again. And I appreciate y'all coming out, and we're going to have a fun time. We're going to see who's going to win this. All right. Good. Good. Enjoy doing it. All right, y'all. We got everything turned in. The chicken's turned in. The ribs are turned in. The steak just got turned in. And uh, since we're cooking in it this year, I wasn't able to film in the judges' room. But actually, we have a spy camera in the judges' room. So you're going to get to see what's going on in there. So y'all check that out. consistent as the chicken was to each other. 
Uh, there was more spread between them for me. Uh, but they all was good. They all tasted good. Balloons, blues, and barbecue. That's right. It's time for the Ascension Hot Air Balloon Festival at the Lamar Dixon Expo Center, September 22nd and 23rd. And the barbecue contest has gotten bigger and better. That's right. Lamar Dixon has teamed up with the BCA to feature a sanctioned event. What's that mean? Well, big cash prizes. Three categories on Saturday. Ribs, chicken, and brisket. And a steak cook-off on Friday. So sign up now at Lamar Dixon or go to the website for an application. Hey everybody, dust off that pit, light a fire under it, and let's see if your chicken is finger licking. RP Custom Trailers and Service is a fully stocked store for RV parts and accessories. With essentials such as tank treatments, hoses, lenses, vents, power cords, cleaning supplies, and everything else your camper may need. Known for customized living quarters and horse trailers for over 18 years. We now specialize in RV insurance work. Talk to Ryan about how to prevent blowouts, and oh yes, that leaky vinyl or rubber roof can be inspected and repaired also. Call or come by and see it all at RP Custom Trailers. Port Vincent Village Market, formerly Parker's Grocery, invites you to come and experience what a family-owned grocery store has to offer. Weekly specials and daily lunches. Breakfast at 5 a.m. Monday through Friday. Sushi, sandwiches, and salads made fresh daily. From the specialty meat section to the in-house butcher, the meat department is first class. Now offering a large selection of wines and specialty beers. Oh yeah, we also sell lottery. Propane and non-ethanol gas. See you at the Village Market. Vassery Fuel is back. Founded in the 1940s, Vaseline Fuel is still the region's only locally owned propane company and we are proud to service our commercial and residential customers. Vaseline Fuel offers both bulk propane and exchange tanks that have over 20% more fuel than any other brand. Exchange cases can be found at your local retailers like Hole in the Wall Seafood, Rouse's, Two Rows, and Rouse Supermarket. The guys over at Galvez Hardware can refill that tank and qualify your out-of-date bottle. Give Vassery a fuel call at 985-447-3668 for all your propane needs. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp, tailgating, or planning dinner. We make our own cracklings, beef jerky, whole cut cheese, and sausage right here in the store. We also process deer and hogs. Junior's Meat Market has an abundance of groceries and frozen items, which include crab cakes, fried oysters, tilapia, and more. We have daily meat specials, and we cook plate lunches every other weekend. Stop by Junior's Meat Market today and bring home dinner. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com I don't know if y'all know that or not, over ribeye. This part right here has the most marbling in it, and, and it is actually the most tender part and has the most flavor to it. That's my ice cream. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's the way it was cooked or if it's a bad piece of meat. Take it 355. One minute. Rest of that. Huh? <laughs> I'm done. I'm joking. Um, one, one minute on each side. That's a chunk of meat right there. I'm going to reach I just said that's one hell of a cow if that's a liver. This is that garlic? Yes, yeah. it is. Unfortunately. You don't like garlic? No, I just don't believe that meat should be ruined with, with other flavors. Other flavors like that. If you want to flavor it, but Chew then more. take it off of it. Here. 
It turns your knife sideways. Well, actually, though, once you get it going, it's tender. Mm -hmm. Still not fat there. Yeah. Yeah. And once you get it like on a normal plate. Get to the restaurant because they were all very, very good. Steaks was done extremely well. And my extra pieces actually stayed on my plate the entire time. It was that one? good. Actually, no. Oh. Um, I, I don't it was the, the one number. That, yeah, the one that we all like. As far as the look, it was phenomenal. I would go with this one. This, this was the, I like this yeah, one. I like this one. I like that one best. Yeah. 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 yeah, I remember you saying that. Yeah. yeah. I would definitely go with this one. I'm glad of the last one because I'm not sure what this means. <laughs> what is your favorite comfort food? Homemade biscuits, you know, sausage. I just want to make it's sure changes for like everything but I, I love a good Italian pasta or something like that and then as a cook I like to blend that and sometimes I'm, I throw a Cajun flair to it too so something I'm cooking for myself that I can be happy about. My favorite comfort food is a really good cheeseburger. Mm. My favorite comfort food is my wife's homemade lasagna. She makes it every Christmas. <coughs> My favorite comfort food is steak. I, I, I gravitate towards steak. When I go to a restaurant, I say, well, tonight I'm going to eat something different. My wife said, no, you're not. And I read the menu and I say, steak. <laughs> no, that's, I guess that would be my comfort food. Line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, and mustard greens. That's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. All right, y'all, I got the grand champion right here, Mr. Danny, bro. Congratulations, Well, thank man. you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Now, did you use Uncle Larry's seasoning or something uh, extra? I give all the credit to Uncle Larry. Yes, <laughs> it's his seasoning. And it's well-deserved, yep. Now, you won a second in the uh, uh, rib cut, in the ribs bro. and then the overall. Overall champion, yep. What was your key to your ribs? My ribs just slow cook. Just a slow cook and Uncle Larry season, and that's all it is. Yep. Got you, bro. Yep. I'm going to tell you what, y'all had a good food over there. I tasted some of y'all stuff. Thank you very much. Yeah, was Y'all, we got a winner for the fourth annual juniors. Steak cook-off, rib and chicken. We had potato salad this year. It was really big. We're going to have it again next year. And I want to thank everybody, everybody out there for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. And we'll see you next week. I'll be back next year.